I made a mistake yesterday. I said yesterday was DJ Jazzy Jeff's birthday. Today is DJ Jazzy Jeff's birthday. So happy birthday to the legendary DJ Jazzy Jeff. X-Men 1991 back again with another sports topic. I'm going to try to keep my anger in check, maintain my composure. I'm going to drink this water real quick. Just because I'm done watching the Rockets for the rest of the season doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing recaps of their games. And like I said, the only time I'm going to watch them, if they're facing against the Lakers, the Heat, or the Bulls. But anyway, we're going to do a recap of their game from last night against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's go. Both teams scored 26 points in the first quarter. Rockets outscored the Timberwolves by deuce in the second quarter, 26 to 24. At halftime, Rockets 52, Timberwolves 50. Rockets lost by five. They got crushed in the second half. They lost by five in the third quarter, 37 to 32. After the third quarter, T Wolves 87, Rockets 84. Rockets lost by six in the fourth quarter, 26 to 20. Final score, Minnesota Timberwolves 113, Houston Rockets 104. Timberwolves are now 24 and 24 as the Rockets continues to struggle, losing 36 games this season. And they have 10 wins. They have a rematch taking on the Timberwolves at the crib tomorrow. Then they take on the Wizards Wednesday. Thursday, they take on the Cavaliers. Saturday against the Pistons. February 10th, they go against the Heat. March 15th, my godmother and Mike Henry's birthday. Taking on the Lakers. Oh, I thought they was going to go against the Bulls for the rest of the season. But guess what? They take on the Bulls on my friend Farrell's birthday, March 11th. I'm definitely going to watch that. Then they face the Lakers again on April 2nd. So this will be the time that I'll be watching the Rockets. The 10th against the Heat. The 11th, March, taking on the Bulls. March 15th and April 2nd, taking on the Lakers. The player of the game was Anthony Edwards with 44.6 rebounds and four assists. Alperin Sangoon needed three more assists to go with a triple double 19 points, 16 rebounds, and seven assists. Right now, the Miami Heat is taking on the Pelicans, while the Lakers tonight go up against the Trailblazers. And tonight is the NFL division round between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. So I want to congratulate the Timberwolves for winning last night, but I don't got shit to say about the Rockets. Steven, Steven Salias has got to go. I am so done with this nigga, man. This will be the third year in a row that we haven't made it to the playoffs. The NBA was suspended in 2020 due to that damn pandemic. Rockets, I love my Rockets, but they can't seem to get shit right. That's why I made the decision to not watch them for the rest of the season because they just keep losing and losing and losing. How many games did they lost by far? Because the last time they won a game... When they beat the Bulls 133 to 118, and they have not won a game since. Okay, here we go. Yep, December 26th, the day after Christmas. That's the last time the Rockets won a game. 
Since then, they lost one, two, three, four, five. Thirteen games in a row. They have not won a game since Kwanzaa when they beat the Bulls. And they will face the Bulls again on March 11th. But the next time I will watch them is February 10th when they go against the Heat. Bullshit, bro. I'm glad I've made a decision to not watch these niggas for the rest of the season. Now, I'm not going to come on here and say, fuck the Rockets this, fuck the Rockets that. They could suck a you-know-what. Because I don't talk shit about my team like that. I don't talk shit about the Rockets, Astros, Texans, Longhorns. Even the Lakers, Heater, Cowboys. Even if they lose back-to-back -back games, I don't talk shit about them. Like I mentioned in my other videos about them, whenever they lose a game, I always tell them, keep your heads up, get your shit together, and get yourselves ready for your next game. But the Rockets and the Texans both suck ass this NFL and NBA season. So just hurry up and finish you all season so we can focus on baseball. I know I can't wait till baseball comes back. But in the meantime, y'all know today has been 20 years since Chappelle's show premiered on Comedy Central. Never thought that Dave Chappelle would have his own TV show. Because I know it was a, a lot of comedians had their own TV show back in the 90s. And some had their own TV show back in the 2000s. George Lopez did it. Damon Wayans did it. Bernie Mac did it. Who else? Flex Alexander did it, Dave Chappelle did it, Wanda Sykes did it. All these great comedians had their own shows back in the 90s and the 2000s. Comedy Central do not make shows like this anymore. The only two shows that's from the 90s that's still holding on to this day is The Daily Show in South Park. Crane Anchors got canceled by Comedy Central in 2005 and then in 2019 they brought the show back. But other than that, Comedy Central don't make good shows anymore. So, what we're going to do is, in honor of Chappelle Show's 20th anniversary, I thought I'd show y'all the intro. That's what I do every time I celebrate the anniversary of my favorite shows. Give me a moment here. So that's going to wrap up my recap of last night's game between the Rockets and the Timberwolves and celebrating 20 years of Chappelle's show premiering on Comedy Central. Shout out to Mike Henry and Jamie and Katie Filer. A link to their YouTube pages will be in the description box below. I'll be back later tonight to reminisce 22 years of a tag team match between Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Trish Stratus and Kurt Angle from the April or January 22nd, 2001 edition of Raw's War. Let me see if they have it first. Before. Let's see, let's see. I, I know they have this match. Let me see. Yep. They got the match. That's what we're going to be reminiscing tonight. Kurt Angle and Trish versus Triple H and Stephanie. From January 22nd, 2001, the night after the Royal Rumble. And you won't believe who came out of nowhere and attacked Triple H. Until then, as always, go Houston Rock.